Hi there. In this lesson, we're going to get up and running with our development environment. And we're going to be using this tool called Apex, uh, which uh, is owned by Oracle. And it's basically a place where you get this virtual database where you can just practice your SQL commands right in your browser. So you're going to need to have internet access. Okay, so as long as you have internet access and you want to practice SQL, you can log in to Apex. Uh, and I'll show you how to set that up right now. Okay, so you need to navigate over to this website which is apex.oracle.com slash en slash learn slash getting started, okay? And let me just actually Google this for you so that you know exactly where to go if you don't have the link. If you just type in Oracle Apex, the first link right here, click on this, apex.oracle.com. This is the main page, right? And then you click on get started for free. And here is that link that I spoke about, apex.oracle.com slash en slash learn slash getting started. And when you get to this page, there's a couple of options. There's this Oracle free cloud account that you can set up. You don't need to do that. You go further down and you click on request a free workspace. Okay, this is what you need to click on, this second option right here. So click on this and here is where you set up your workspace. And so I'm going to give a name. I'll just say Taz Man. Um, I already have an account, so I'm simulating how to create one right now. And so the email address. Uh, so I'll just use another email address that I have. And then the workspace name. Notice it says this workspace name uniquely identifies your development environment and is used when signing in. So this needs to be a unique workspace, right? So you cannot have the same workspace name as I have, okay? It needs to be something totally different. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to call it Taz underscore man underscore mine and yours should be totally different. OK, so let's click on next and then it gives some questions, sort of a survey. Uh, are you new to Oracle Express? Let's say yes. Do you plan to use this workspace for university class training? Yes. And then click on next. And then here's where you give some kind of uh, justification learning for Oracle certification. OK, click on next. And here's the guidelines. You want to make sure you read this, this agreement. Click on I accept the terms and just click next. And here is the confirmation page where you can now submit the request for your own virtual workspace, your own database on, online that you can access. OK, so I'm just going to click on submit request. And there you go, workspace requested you will receive an email to activate your workspace once this request has been approved. So now I'm going to visit my uh, inbox in Gmail and I should have that link. Okay, so let me uh, go ahead and log in there. And now I'm logged into my Gmail account. Notice we got an email from Oracle Application uh, Express and it says action required. So click on this email and you should have, see notice it says workspace request approved. So now we can officially create the workspace. We And notice the environment. This is the, you know, just keep a record of this. You have it in the email. So let's create, click on Create Workspace. And it's now creating the workspace. Workspace uh, successfully created. Click on Continue to sign in screen. And here is where you provide a new password, OK? And the username is going to be the email address that you used for this. And uh, the password is, could be anything. When you enter that information, click on Apply Changes. And there we go. We're logged in. Okay, and that's it. That's pretty much all it takes. Most of our most of the time, we'll be involved with the SQL Workshop section. When you log into Oracle Apex, like we just did, you click on SQL Workshop, and you click on SQL Commands. Click here, and this is where you're going to be typing up all of the commands in this course, all of the SQL, and you're going to basically master this technology using this course. Hopefully, okay, that's the idea, and I'm sure you can do it and I'm going to help you get there. Uh, notice, uh, if you want to log out, click on this button on the top right. Before logging out, I just want to remind you that your workspace name is this. I chose this. You, you should have a different workspace name. Um, and the uh, email account is also shown here. Okay, So let me sign out, and let's go to return to sign in page. You can save this uh, page in your favorites so that you don't have to figure out how to get here every time. Your email also tells you how to get to that place, which is right here, environment, apex, oracle, 
PLS slash APEC. So if you click here, it'll take you to the same page and you need to provide your workspace name, right? So the workspace name that I had chosen was Taz Man Mine, okay? And the username is going to be the email address that I was working with, right? So that's going to be this horrific email address that I have here. And the password is going to be whatever I chose. So of course, I'm gonna enter it here. And once you see the green lights here, you can click on sign in and you'll be able to access that same account, okay? And um, that's it, that's all that's required to set up your environment and uh, work with uh, all the lectures in this course. I need you to be typing all of the commands with me and running them. And feel free to change the commands around, experiment with them. Whatever I type on the screen, you also need to be typing on your screen to get the full practice that you need because practice is everything in, in SQL as well as any, any coding language. You need to practice, otherwise you will not learn a thing no matter what you do if you don't get the practice. So literally copy everything that I type, run it in your uh, own environment, change things around, maybe change the commands and you know try to go beyond what I'm doing if you want. Experiment with changing the names and stuff. You'll, you're going to run into the commands. I want you to run into errors and experience this because that's how you really learn. And so don't be afraid to experiment with this and uh, enter the commands that uh, we explain in this course. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lecture.